I am here with the lovely Dignitas Warden. Um, please introduce yourself and your role for the team. Uh, my name is Catherine, also known as the Warden, and my role in Team Dignitas is officially I'm an editor. Unofficially, I have a lot of different roles. I work with our sponsors and uh, help. I've been drafted into doing the game research here today because our pal stress is casting, and I basically do anything that needs doing. I'm a, like a janitor for the team. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure there is a far more grand. I'm sure, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure there's a far more grand title than that. Now, what's your history within Team Dignitas? When did you get involved? Uh, basically, this time last year, uh, I44, I was actually volunteering at for Multiplay and on their coverage team and I met Dogbert and he said oh we're looking for trial editors you should apply so I went on Reddit onto the website put my name down and about the beginning no about Christmas so I mean I-44 was actually earlier last year and then in December I was actually accepted onto the team and I literally screamed my head off that day <laughs> <laughs> um, and there was a, a whole load of us editors. We were like the first round of new editors to be taken in, and we all got accepted around Christmas time. We all did a really good job. So, yeah. Oh, wonderful! You all got accepted. Yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah. wow, a happy so ending. A few of us got, and a few of them got rejected. And there's about three or four of us that got took on, and we it all went from there. And we've been taking on new editors and trial editors ever since. Oh, wonderful! And my head editors, basically the head editor who takes on all new editors, his, his name is Sui. And if you want to apply, basically go on the website and you'll see his email address. He sorts out all editors, that sort of thing. Right, any journalism students, I think I myself may apply for that. Maybe I'll be here, maybe I'll be here in a t-shirt next year. Something that happens now that didn't happen when I applied is we now do work with um, Alienware and Scan. Uh, I take care of the Scan articles and Sui takes care of the Alienware articles. And those are articles that you get paid for doing. Um, providing you've been with us long enough, so there's a trial editor here, George, he's been doing work for us. Uh, what I'll do now is go to Sui and say, look, George did really well this weekend, I think you should take him on full time. All right. And, well, full on, and he'll get the opportunity to do Alienware and scan articles. And then he'll, he'll have the opportunity to get paid instead of not getting paid for his articles. So. Oh, wonderful. Well, hey, any journalism students who are watching this, make sure you apply, make sure you investigate that. <laughs> Um, previous to now, it's all been very esports, League of Legends, and StarCraft 2 only. And we're now looking for general gaming related ones, especially for Alienware Arena. AlienwareArena.com, go check that out before you apply, and you'll get more of an idea of what we're looking for. All right, wonderful. Well, now I know we were speaking beforehand. Obviously, I'm a student, I'm a first year undergraduate, a fresher. Woe is me, woe is me, woe is me. Um, you recently graduated as well. What was your path from graduation? First, what did you study? But what was your path from graduation to the games industry? I actually studied uh, design and advertising and I graduated in June this year. And it was pretty much since, you know, that I joined Team Dignitas the end of last year, when I was graduating, I was pretty much ready to go. My goal was to be, have some form of small salary from, from Team Dignitas. Because I actually have two children at home, so I'm right. actually I actually take care of my two children at home. That keeps me very busy. And Team Dig Team Dignitas wasn't supposed to suck up as much time as it has, but it's it's become a part-time pay, full-time, full-time job for part-time oh, no. pay. That's how esports works. Anyone who works in esports will know that. Um, <laughs> and that's pretty much how it came about. June, I got, I managed to get this, get in charge of the scan articles around April, May, it was cutting it so close. I thought, oh God, come June, I'm going to be searching for jobs. And it, it all kind of tumbled all around the same time, around April, May, it all flew off. And everything, everything, I became so busy. I was working almost six, seven days a week for, for Dick doing articles. And, and now I, end, I end up strategizing and then I was brought in on our social media. Yeah. I, it's. I do so much, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. It's, well, I, I can yeah, vow. I try I, and organise myself as much as possible, yeah. but anyone who works in esports knows that's not how it works. I think that's a general media thing as well. I think, like, it is absolutely gruelling. Like, you know, you're looking at... We've been here, we've, we've been here since 9 o'clock this morning. It's just gone, just gone 4, and we're probably going to be here till 10 o'clock tonight. Um, and we're, we are on expenses, my expenses. So, 
you know, it's 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 it. <laughs> just grab anybody who's free, and I know that a lot of you try and get times. So it's like, what time are you free? Yeah, we were doing this before. Just come back when I'm available, and it's basically just grab people, and you'll be doing that till like say ten o'clock tonight. And um, it's you guys that help pump esports and keep the the media side of it. We're the hype machine, yeah. basically. Yes, exactly. Now, you just said you had two children. Where does esports fit in a family life? Um, I have a very understanding family. Right. And they understand that I'll start work about dinner time and I won't finish until about 10 o'clock. But luckily, with working from home, I can pull away for two seconds, sort out any catastrophes, and then go back again and keep working. So it's very... It's not structured. It's as working from home goes, which is just keep working till it's done and go to bed when you look at the clock it's free in the morning i better go to bed <laughs> Start again tomorrow and well that's 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 really really interesting now you say you deal with a lot of companies as well what's that like daunting at first um especially with like meeting meeting somebody from intel and it's the scariest thing but then you realize that you're representing the team and usually somebody like Doc who's about to walk behind us um, will introduce you and then you'll tell them what your role is and they'll tell you what they've got planned and they'll give you more of an insight as to what the company wants to do moving forward with the team. That he that helps me a lot in terms of writing about the team, about the company and working with Scan especially. We, team Dignitas has such a good relationship with Scan scan computers and especially since the scan pro gaming has taken off uh, check out the scan pro gaming tab on scan um, and that will give you more insight as to scan wants to get more involved with gaming they've always had a touch with gaming and they they will continue to do so with our help so um, well wonderful well i mean video games have come so far i mean the fact that this event is running as smoothly and so it's so polished like there are no rough edges here at all where do you see our community in five years time oh goodness um twice this size hopefully and hopefully we'll have big name sponsors like coca-cola and pepsi and virgin media and any any lifestyle sponsors that's the goal we're on the edge of getting our lifestyle sponsors and once we've got them then it will just explode and we'll be it won't be this small, it'll be twice as big. There'll be other i series in the UK. That's what I hope. That's why I joined eSports originally, was to help the UK community in all eSports, specifically StarCraft 2 at first, but now I've seen all these other eSports that are small and need help, and then it's basically just helping them and saying, oh yeah, hey, there's a, this game over there, you might want to check that out. And whether it be a company or a person who plays, anybody who wants to get involved, I say, just do it. Just go get involved. We, we need help. We still need help. We're, yes, we are on the edge of getting lifestyle sponsors involved, but to make that possible, we still need people to get involved, like Stress and Dogbit and myself and Lumpy and the players. If you play a game and you're good at it, keep at it and come and join a team like ours and we, or we'll find you if you're good enough we, we know you're there we're coming for you <laughs> um yeah that's it you just have to if you have a special skill be it playing or you're a staff member get involved just just do it you won't regret it well that's absolutely wonderful any budding video game journalists out there i urge you to contact team dignitas especially if we are on the cusp of an explosion in the scene as catherine is saying catherine you've been fantastic thank you very much thank you very much